Hey, second grade, Father Rotman here again to talk about another saint to help you get ready to make your first communion. And this time, it's one of the popes. It is Pope St. Pius X. Pope St. Pius X is a very important saint for you all making your first Holy Communion because he is the one who changed the age for people to receive Holy Communion. If you remember with, like, when we learned about Blessed Imelda, uh, how you had to be 12 years old in the old days in order to receive Holy Communion, well, Pope St. Pius X is the one who changed the age to be seven years old, the age of reason. Pope St. Pius X lived in, uh, was born in 1835, and he became the Pope. And uh, he was known for saying, Holy Communion is the shortest and the safest way to heaven. He had a great love for Holy Communion and also for going to confession, the sacrament of penance, which you guys have already uh, been able to do and hopefully have been doing again. Uh, but communion and confession. Pope St. Pius X loved these things. And so he's often been called the Pope of the Blessed Sacrament. So as we are um, as we are getting ready to make our first Holy Communion, we should first of all remember that we are grateful to the Church. The Church is the one who makes it possible for us to receive Holy Communion. And our current Pope, Francis, Pope. You know, he uh, also wants you to make a good First Holy Communion. So does Bishop Foy's, our bishop. So do I, your pastor, Father Jim, who's the parochial vicar here, right? All the church wants you to make a good First Holy Communion. And so uh, we thank Pope St. Pius X for making it possible for you to receive your First Communion when you're only seven years old. But we should also remember that the reason that it's important that we be at least seven years old is because we have to understand what we're receiving. We're not just receiving bread, even though it looks like bread. We're not just receiving wine, even though it looks like wine, tastes like wine, tastes like bread, right? It really is Jesus, his body, his blood, his soul, and his divinity. That's what we say, and that's what we believe. And we have to understand that. That's receiving your first Holy Communion is so special because you're really receiving Jesus himself. Let's say our litany of the saints. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. Saint Tarsisius, don't forget that your response there is pray for us. Saint Thomas Aquinas, Blessed Imelda Lambertini, Saint Claire of Assisi, uh, who did we do last time? Oh, St. Anthony of Padua. Pope St. Pius X. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. All right. We'll see you soon, second grade, for First Holy Communion.